thanks for watching my video today I'm going to integrate this one integral of e to the ax cos bx okay here we have this one is this this is exponential function and this is trigo function so we have two function under this integral sign okay so what we are going to use is that integration by part okay this is what we call integration by part so let me remind you the integration by part okay integral of u v dx where u and v are two functions just like this one okay first function let me assume u to be the first function first function to integrate integral of second function minus integral derivative of first function into integral of second function dx so this is our integration by part okay so now we are going to integrate this so let me assume for the i equal to e to the ax cos bx dx so that instead in place of writing this always so if i replace only by i okay it is easier so we are going to integrate now i'm going to use directly okay u one is u here cos okay in order to know that which one is first function and second function you need to know this letter I L T E. Okay. You need to know this letter. I mean inverse trigonometric function. L mean logarithmic function. A mean algebraic function. T mean trigonometric function. E mean exponential function. So, in here exponential is the last and trigo is first. Okay. Trigo is first uh, letter than uh, exponential. So, cos will be what or first function. Okay. First function. Integration of second function, which means integration of e to the ax, which will be e to the ax over a, okay? Minus integration derivative of first function, or first function is this one, okay? Let me say this v, okay? This is u. du by dx, u is cos bx, so derivative of cos is what? What is that derivative of cos? Mm, minus sin bx am i right and to b okay and integration of second function okay integration of second function which means e to the ax over a which integration of e to the ax is e to the x over a dx okay i is equal to e to the ax cos bx over a minus minus become plus am i right mm. b over a common and uh, let me tell outside the integral okay integral of sine bx e to the x dx so again we are going to integrate this one okay we are going to use the integration by part only in this one okay so let me assume this to be equation one so that this part okay will be i1 let me let me assume okay, i1 and now we are going to integrate this i1 so i1 is going to integration of sine bx e to the x dx so i1 is going to same thing okay? here this trigo is first function and exponential is second function according to this letter okay? now uh, first function integration of second function integration of e to the ax is e to the ax over a minus integration derivative of sin is what cos bx into b and integration of this is e to the ax is e to the ax over a dx okay so i1 is equal to e to the ax sin bx over a minus b over a taking out common okay cos bx e to the ax dx now what is this what is this integral integral of cos bx e to the ax which is our original integral okay which is we supposed to be i okay now putting this value in equation one okay i is equal to e to the ax cos bx over a plus b over a 
an integration on this part is what e to the ax sine bx over a minus b over a and what is this this integral is nothing but i because we assume here i okay so i now opening the bracket e to the x cos bx over a plus b over a square e to the ax sine bx minus b square over a square i okay now this i transfer here because this i and i common so if i transfer and if i take the common it will be 1 plus b square by a square i okay in here okay let me write s in this cos bx over a plus b by a square e to the ax sine bx okay and so this i just simplify a square plus b square over a square okay is equal to here let me take a square to be common okay a square and e to the ax also common okay e to the ax over a square if i tell a square common one is left here in is a cos bx okay plus one is left here b sine bx okay and this a square a square can be cancelled so lastly our i will be e to the ax over one is this a square plus b square and this one a cos bx plus b sine bx okay one is or i one is or i or i is this one e to the ax cos bx dx okay so integration of e to the ax cos bx dx is nothing but e to the ax over a square plus b square this one okay or is a cos bx plus b sine bx plus constant of integration don't forget to put this constant of integration because this is indefinite integral okay so our integral for this is this one 